Hi all, welcome to this Francis Amuzu League SBC player review. This is an 89 rated card which you cannot unlock just now because they've obviously removed it what we managed to complete last night um, because of the mucked up boost end but regardless we did kind of hope that we would get a review. Just a quick one, nothing too over elaborate or fancy. Obviously at this stage of FIFA these cards are not the most desirable but if we can smash like so it would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're now following Twitter at G as a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. And comment down below if you had managed to do it, did you go Amuzu or Okariki? And if when it does return, who do you plan to go for if you'd still plan to do it? So basically we're going to rock up with our main team, we'll sub out Rivaldo, put um, um, Amuzu at um, Cam, but we'll put him as a left attacking mid, we'll put um, Rivaldo kind of out the team, like obviously he goes out the team, we'll put Jesus to a central attacking mid, just for um, running it out, because Amuzu looks pretty decent in some regards, um, alternatives we've gone for is Neymar, his base version, Mertens because he's an alternative left winger and then El Unice just because he is like a storyline option that's kicking about. So he has 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot. To me, um, the weak foot I'm happy about, skill moves mean absolutely nothing to me. So I'm going to play a few games with him, just get a feel of it. I'm not overly too fancy about it but he's got 95 pace, 95 dribbling, 86 shot, 85 dribbling, 43 defending and 77 physical. Plus 19 upgrade with when you compare the boosts that he's been given, it's plus 8 pace, plus 23 shot, plus 22 pass, 20 dribbling, 11 extra defending and 21 extra physical. So he's been given a healthy old boost. Now, I would personally say, if you're going to play him, he's one of these players that is not going to be brilliant on the wings, but I think he'll work nicely as like a cam. He's going to be one of those players, he's going to be like how you find um, like your Elianusis, your... Neymar's, I think Neymar's wasted at left wing, but he's brilliant and is like a cam or a striker. But regardless, when we break down his stats, he has 99 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 90 positioning, 84 finishing, 95 shot power, 79 long shots, 83 volleys, 79 penalties, 79 crossing, 87, sorry, 79 vision, 87 crossing, 63 free kicks, 89 short pass and long pass, 85 curve. 99 agility and balance, 77 reactions, 89 ball goal, 96 dribbling and 76 composure. I will say right away, when you look at that breakdown, reactions and uh, composure will be an issue. But I feel his ball control um, may also be an issue as well. Just because I feel despite having 96 dribbling, 99 agility and balance, the ball might not stick to the feet like we would hope. But we'll see how it goes in game of course. Then 55 stand tackles, 61 slide tackle if they really make a big deal, um, not really. 99 jumping, 82 stamina, 83 strength and 44 aggression. So fundamentally from here what do we feel would suit his kind of playstyle? For me, like I'm never the best when it comes to chem styles, I am absolutely hopeless for them this year. But obviously Hawks wasted, you may look at like architect, uh, artist, marksman, something that just kind of for me you want to boost the shooting up fundamentally if you're wanting to get be attacking you've got to kind of look at something like your, your marksman, dead eye, sniper they're kind of like the main crux of it I would say and like, I would like they're the kind of ways I would go about it obviously for the review we're just going to go basic because I'm not really fussed, he's basically fodder for me um, I'd prepared all the leagues anyway, um, but f even like finisher gives him a good um, like. I feel what he needs is it's get that shooting just right, but may also work on like the passing because I feel in that final third it's going to be he's going to be let down in some regard. I don't know how specifically it could be. Like his, like his first touch or final touch but I just feel something's just not quite right with this card despite being given such a pace boost but I think if I was to be honest maybe Dead Eye is where I'd look for um, my overall kind of like chem style like plus 8 shot plus 7 pass is what gives him and it then gives him 99's across the board for positioning, finishing and shooting 
uh, for shot power even and then obviously pretty much everything's over the 80, 90s and 85s and 90s for his um, passing but hopefully we get deep into it and it's like his, like looking at pros are pacing and dribbling but I would say cons looking at the stats I would say first touch and obviously better left wings because Mertens for me I would even rather enjoy at the stage of FIFA like his shapeshifters despite some of his like um, stats um, that may not suggest being the best but Neymar for me has been one of the best like left wingers in the game even though I play him as I've said said quite a few times this year I play his play of the month as a striker so we'll get into some games see how he does and we'll obviously kind of get into the nitty gritty see if the pace and dribbling and if the cons are kind of swing around as we kind of get into the footage because I feel personally this might see a difference but like, looking at it his positioning is pretty awful like his like I've got him as a lamb because I go, um, as we said, changed him in game to a lamb. But I feel right away when you kind of look at how he's playing, I feel he's definitely missing something. I don't know what it is, but he's definitely missing something. Like he gets a shot off there, but it just seemed um, quite weak. For like, I know his shot power's ninety. Saying that his shot power's ninety five, and he puts that away quite convincingly. So it's almost like inconsistency with his um, shooting there, which is not ideal. But I would say for what I'm seeing initially, his first touch and his pace. The more I'm seeing it, his actual pace isn't as good as it makes out to be. I'll be honest because. The reason why I feel his pace isn't as impressive is he's not burning away from like Zambrotta, Alberto for what I'm seeing in this game. Like that's the two defenders I'm facing here, and I'm also playing against um, one of the guys through the Discord. Um, so I thought Duke um, just because I thought I might as well play people that are I know that are my level. I thought um, see what I'm up against um, for a, like a good standard, as it were. But for me to recap everything, um, because obviously at this stage for these cards, sadly, just will not get a look in. All these cards are sadly is SBC fodder. Um, if you're like me and had prepared the leagues, the two eighty nine, you'd be like, great extra fodder. That's all they are. To, that's all they should. That's all they sadly will be. They might get a look in as a super sub, but at this stage of FIFA, for me, sub wise, this is where, um, like. Team of Season Hamdala, um, Regulon for now, kind of get the nod. Uh, Bruno Fernandes will get in the main team eventually, hopefully, with a bit of luck. But for me, um, Amuzu just does not cut the mustard. I think the biggest problem as well, so many people are so used to Kent, for example, Kent. And if you're looking at Ansu Fati, for example, Ansu Fati, for what I've played of Ansu Fati, is better than this card by quite some distance. I feel Fatty for what when I've played against Fatty bursts away very quickly. Even when I've used him, he burns away very quickly. And Muzu does not. And I think that's because even though he's got top high um, acceleration, his sprint speed must cap he's, he's capping out almost quite quickly. So he's not burning it like that's when then you then start to look at putting like Hawk or something on him just as but just to solely focus on boosting up that extra pace boost and you say to yourself it becomes wasted and even with basic 95 pace uh, sorry 95 sprint speed just doesn't do enough for him still oddly he just doesn't seem to burn away um, so he's a bit of a weird one but for me 7.5 out of 10 um, bit of a shame really like other people that maybe skillers might find this card so much fun to use it might need a skiller that can do the little tricks and get the dribble, get that dribbling use just a little bit better. That's maybe all it needs because I can't skill to save my life. So I think that's what it might need. But for me, if I was honest, if you were given the option of doing a Muzu or Fatty, I would personally do Fatty. Um, but it comes down to obviously what fodder you had for those S that SBC in general. 
but hopefully you find this useful folks as I said let me know in the comments down below if you've done a Muzu or Okariki from the Pro League and what you got from your packs so smash like as always, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, G's Legend, and I'll catch you all later.